Morning. Morning. What's up? What were you doing first thing this morning? I was doing my taxes. <laughs> Real exciting. Yeah. We took, they needed to go to the government office and do some adult, adult things. See, Alpa? Just the bigger things, you know. Once you're another child, you have to do these things, which are not really nice, but I have to do them. Everyone needs, every single person needs a hashtag. I mean, yeah, you need, do you have a hashtag? Like four years ago, I didn't have a hashtag. In four years, you could be at the moon. The With your word. hashtag. <laughs> All you need is a really good hashtag. Futi, futi, like, so like futash in Hungarian means running. And like futi futi is mean like a cute running, I guess. When you put an I, usually in a Hungarian word at the end, it makes it like a little cuter. So do you ever do when it's not cute running? Or is it always cute running? No, it's always cute running, yeah. Probably look like a tomato. And the other one that you saw from your brother? Yeah, Kadouj is like, so he saw it on, on um, UFC fighter, said it like Kadouj, like a punching someone. And then he just picked it up and he said it a couple of times in the gym. And I was like, oh, I like that. And then I just started hashtagging. And then sometimes he hashtags it too now because it's cool. I made it cool. <laughs> Why did you stop? Uh, I don't know. Like my brother started like going to the like the global gym, and then he saw CrossFit on TV at the global gym, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna start this." And then he, I don't know, he started. So whatever he did, I did. I was his uh, shadow. I was like, "Oh, you're doing this. Me too." I'd say my dad is mostly my coach if I have to like tell like say someone this person is my coach because he has been with me since like I was little and to my climbing days and also CrossFit and like all kinds of sports so but I don't like ha I don't I don't know like I I would think that if you have a coach it has to be like with you 24 7 and I don't have a person like that so it's mostly my dad who is there most of the time so I would say him but I don't know. So I did the first open workout here in this gym and then after the first workout HQ reached out that they wanted to do the second one in person with me and I was like oh nice and then they flew me out to Columbus and I was gonna come back and do the third one here but then I was like mm, maybe I should stay there because there's like a lot of traveling and then I figured I'd go down to Krypton which is like an hour flight from there so I went down there and I did the last one there. And then I was just like, oh, maybe I'll just stay here and work out a little bit. And then I did quarterfinals there, and then I flew back home after quarterfinals, so. And so now we're, we're, as you said, we're a week out. What does it look like for the next week in terms of your preparation? Do you dial down your volume? Yeah, I for sure it's like tapering, so I'm gonna, my volume is gonna be less. Internet is still high, but volume is much less than like the couple of weeks before. And then I have like two rest days before. I might move on Thursday a little bit, and then Friday it starts. We are at uh, CrossFit Gym in Amsterdam. At the briefing is from seven to nine p.m. So I'm bringing my dinner with me. Go to the grocery store, you'll be back in 15. So slow. Never bring your parents anywhere. It's a, today is a bring your parents to regionals day. This is a solid, solid store with solid bananas and water. Success. in time. Yeah, I got. I even left my bananas there, dude. Okay, you can have half of mine. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo.
Throw in his bag, this beat is heaven sent. Back up in my element, new whip. Trunk up in the front, I whip an elephant. It's all limo tent, that's how you move when you the president. Oh, I got one last rope climb, but the, the winner, Aaron Trey in lane number eight. Laura Horvath takes second. I was gonna throw up afterwards, but then I was good. I realized. And then I wasn't good, and now I'm good. You good? But essentially, I didn't throw up. I was like this close. Are you happy with how today's gone? Very. Two two equals one. Ouchie. What's the plan now? I bike a little bit. I really was really happy about the first workout. I'm not a huge burpee box jump overer, so I'm really happy about that. No problem. And then the lift was. I wanted to do like 105, one, like between something between 105 and 110. So I hit 106 and I was really happy about it. And then no one really hit, like Mia has tried to go heavier and then I was like, oh, if she's gonna hit it, I have to go heavier, but she didn't make it. So I was like, should I go, should I not go? Because it wasn't required us for us to go. But then I was like, okay, I might as well try because I'm here. So I tried 108, which I failed the jerk, which is okay, but it's all a waiting, but that's fine. I'm used to like, lifting and then waiting and then lifting again. But I for sure prefer lifting like back-to-back -back lifts. Not particularly in this complex because it's really taxic on the legs. It's like like five front squats I did every time. Today we have a really tough workout, the first one. But I like it. It's a lot of devil's presses, hands and push-ups, send back leans, and then has devil's presses again, which is fine. It's just going to be a lot of reps in a very short amount of time. We only have 11 minute time gap, so we'll see. And then the last one is like all out, just like a sprint. You have echo bike, bar muscle up, and then some heavy overhead squats. Yeah, I'm having fun. My family is here. My friends are here. So yeah, it's cool. Laura, CrossFit Global Throwdown Champion, how does that sound to you? Sounds pretty good to me.